Well, I can't say that because it's going to give away one of the questions in the solar energy group. Uh, where's the mechanic group from my next mechanical energy group? Hi! Hi! <laughs> and we're using these to see how far... And I can't it's say that either. You can. How far what? It's how nice. far the piece will move, depending okay. on the location. <laughs> Mr. Crosby, that's a wonderful view. We love it. Um, <laughs> the important thing is we can see you guys further. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, so we, so you're trying to see how far you can get this object to move. Yeah, depending. What are you? What is your um, your variable? What are you changing? The location of the fulcrum. Okay, what is a fulcrum again? The desk, it's the edge of the desk. No, uh, what's a fulcrum? The thing in the thing that doesn't move. In a lever. Okay, so you're using a lever. To yes. move an object. Yes. Yeah, and I just gave away one of the questions on the sheet. But you're using a lever to move an object, and yes. you want to see if the di the place where the lever is affects how far the object's going to move. Yes. Okay. Everyone understand that? So my question in the Cover It Live, can one of you check this question? My question is, what is your prediction? Is it going to be when the lever is, makes the end where the checker is longer? Or is it going to be when it makes the end where the checker is shorter? What's your prediction? If we move the fulcrum closer to the object, will the object move farther away? Or will it be closer? Make a prediction, everybody. Somebody is Did you all do that? How do you how do you write a prediction? What's the what are the first two words? I predict or I think, I think, or my prediction. hypothesis, we're scientists now, my hypothesis would be that the closer the fulcrum is to the object, the farther the object will go, or the less far the object will go. Make a prediction. Okay, so we're ready to do the experiment. Where is the first place that the fulcrum's going to be? Um, the 10 inch line. The 10 inch line. So Google Doc people, you need to get that in there. But only one of you needs to get it in there. So whoever gets it in first, no one else copy it over. <laughs> but somebody, launch number one is 10 inches. Somebody got it. Number one. Oh, attempt number one is 10 inches. Okay, are we ready? Yes. How many of you predicted that the, f the closer the fulcrum is to the object, the farther the object will go? How many of you, pre the closer the fulcrum is to the object, the farther the object will go? How many of you predicted that the fulcrum needs to be far away from the object? Okay, no one's making any predictions at all? Oh, so it seems to be... It seems like most of us are thinking that the farther away the fulcrum is from the object, the farther it will go. Yeah. So 10 inches is the farthest away it's going to be, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, 10 inches it is. Here we go. Wait, let me get really close. And Garrick will be launching the piece. Tanya will be seeing where it lands first. Recording the okay, Garrick, hit it. Huh? 
right here, 14 inches. 14 inches. For a sure, and one. Fly. 14 inches. Make sure that gets into the Google Doc. At the 10 inch line. Oh boy. Just so hard to do it all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so hard. Everybody keeps just like running off Okay. So what's the next one? Six inches. Six inches. How many of you think it's going to go farther? We're closer to the object now. How many of you think that object's going farther? Oh my gosh. Something just happened. Something. Someone just erased the whole thing. Yes. Yeah, what just oh. happened? Oh, okay. I lost it. Back, 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 back. I see, I see it. Okay. Whew. Little Google Doc problem there. Here we go at six inches. And the Tanya, could you like not get hit, please? <laughs> okay. Go, Garrick. <laughs> okay. Redo. All Garrick did was hit himself in the head. <laughs> Eleven inches. At the six, at the six inch line. Somebody said they know the words now. They yeah. Know launch so, one, yeah, launch I'm trying two. to fix their words back. Yeah, somebody deleted all the launch ones. Okay, two. everyone in the Google Doc, you can't delete the words that are already there. Okay. All you're doing is filling in numbers. I'll fix it. Oh, I'll fix it. Oh, fix it. Oh, I'll launch one here. Okay, now it's at the four inch line. I think. Is it? I don't know. Don't. Oh, no. You're going to have to hold it. Okay, hold up. Which one is at the four inch line? Okay, this is going to be hard. It's at what line? At the four inch. Four inch line. Okay, hold up. Let me get ready. Hold up, hold up. Okay. Go. <laughs> I did launch. Let's try that again. They should mostly be looking at the cover of live. Okay? Yes. Occasionally glance back. Yes. And it's Okay, it's interesting. We can't even get it to launch. Okay, let me do it. Let me try. Let me try. Can you try? Okay, I got it. Let go. Let go. Ready? Let go. Set. Thirteen inches. Thirteen inches. Yep. So the results were. When we put it at the ten inch line, we we got fourteen inches travel, and when we put the ruler at the six inch line, we got eleven okay. inches. When we put the put it at the four inch line, we got thirteen inches. So what is that telling us? That. So the closer to the object, we don't know, do we? No, because it's not how we plan. So what? So the question is, what should we do? Because we seem to have mixed information. We thought we could. We so thought that when it would be at the four inch line, it would be the shortest, and when we thought when it would be at the six inch line, it would be in the middle. Okay, so I would like to try launching. Can I try launching? Sure. At the four inch line. So ten. So redo. Here's redo. the 10 inch launch. Ready? Uh, hold up. Where'd it go? We did it go. It's on the pillow. The pillow. Uh -oh. And where is the pillow? Uh, uh, it's right on the pillow. Okay. Where is the pillow? Uh, the pillow. Uh, 30 inches. Okay, so 30 inches so for 30 10. So 30 inch plus 39 inches would be 69. So 69 inches for 10 wow. inch more. What's the next one? Six, Six inches. Six inch. Here we go. Okay, that was at 26. 27 inches for six. So what's your prediction for four? We think it will be the lowest. The lowest. Ah, 16 inches. And it was 16 inches for four. So we now have different results. Let me tell you what they were doing wrong. The, what I did differently, I made my fulcrum by the desk. I held my hand right by the desk. And you were holding it by the end of the ruler. Right. So the longer the distance, 
between the object and the fulcrum, the farther, the farther away the object will go. I hope someone put that in the cover at live. The longer the distance, the longer the distance that between the fulcrum and the object, the farther the object will go. How many of you have seen a catapult? Hey, look. My finger is the fulcrum, and they were putting that thing they were launching here. The closer, the further the fulcrum was from the object, the further it went. So remember the driver from golf? Wasn't that the longest club? Yes. And didn't that send the ball the farthest? Yes. Because the distance was the farthest. And if you've seen catapults before, like in old medieval movies, oh, no. they're it's really sister, long, aren't yeah. they? They're not like this tiny little thing. Mm -hmm. uh, a little mm -hmm. Really long. Yeah. If we want to throw a baseball, do we throw a baseball with our elbow tucked on our side and go, uh. <laughs> No, you want to use your whole arm. You want to actually stretch back before you throw it because you're making your, your distance even longer. So 